Okay, so uh, I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with it. Any of the parts. Nothing wrong with any of the parts. What's going on here, man? Yeah. Alright, so, um. So, what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna try to work this caliper in. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to push it in with a clamp. And then, and then I'm gonna try to push it back out using the brake pedal. Hopefully I'm push it out of too much. I'm just just gonna break very little bit just to get the just to get those uh the um, the pistons moving in and out and then uh, and then um, just to see if it moves smoothly. If it doesn't, it's probably gonna need to be a rebuilt and I'm probably gonna have to uh, just buy a whole new caliper. That's that's probably the best thing to do. I would just rebuild it. I'd rather just buy a brand new caliper or a re uh, refurbished one. So uh, yeah. So we'll go. Uh, let me go get the. Let me go get the, um, the clamps. clamps right here. And open the brake fluid reservoir. Open the brake fluid reservoir a little bit. So uh, has something to push the fluid out to. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get our handy dandy clamp here. I would imagine, I don't think we need a very big one. Okay, so uh, I got it in there. I had to use the big one because the caliber is quite large. Um, it's kind of in there cockeyed a little bit, but the, the piston ain't going in. Um, it shouldn't it shouldn't have that hard of a problem trying to go in. So I tried to squeeze it, and it doesn't seem like it's moving so easily. So, But uh, we, we got to push them in anyway so we can get the new brake pads in there. So I'm gonna try to work on it. Okay, a more. so I got them both in. Um, that's a good sign. It seemed like this one's a little bit harder, but I, it was kind of pushing and it crooked. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna step on the brakes and then, uh, and then I'll, it's gonna push the piston out, and then uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if it comes out. All right. And so there should be more brake fluid in here. Yeah, there's a little. It's past the max line now. Actually, the brake fluid looks pretty clean too. So, uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go uh, go step on the rotor. Okay, time to go uh, step on the brakes. See what happens. The cool thing about having a camera and doing this is I can step on it and I can play it back. It should be pretty easy to push the pedal down. Okay, so, so there it is. Uh, only one of them came out. Now, I don't know if, uh, I know what we can do. So what I can do is, uh, just to make sure uh, that other one, it looks like this is stuck. It sees, uh, it needs a new, uh, needs to be rebuilt. Um, what I can do is uh, stick a uh, clamp on this one. I know these two dual piston caliper is a little pain in the ass. Anyway, I'm gonna stick a uh, stick the clamp there and tighten it a little bit and then we'll see if we can get this one to pop out. Right, okay, so I got the clamp on there. I pushed the piston in just a little bit. It wasn't too hard so I have a sneaky suspicion that one cal that one piston has seized. So that sucks. okay um I don't know I don't know what the problem is um, I'm just gonna go ahead and install the brakes 
Uh, I feel bad that we didn't find a definite uh, problem because uh, these still have grease in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a, uh, I'm kind of puzzled. I'm gonna go do some googling real quick and then see what else the problem could be. What I'm thinking is that uh, one of these is coming out more more easily than the other, and it, it and it's pushing the pads cockeyed. You know, they're not balanced. So hopefully, hopefully me exercising it like that. Um, Helped it, uh, helped it, um, helps it move it in and out more easily. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of the problem would be. Um, yeah, so, so I, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna pu push both of the pistons back in and then, and then do the same thing again. And see if they, how easily they move up. It looks like there's nothing wrong with them. They're not leaking any kind of fluid or anything. They're going in and out fine. It was, yeah, I, I, it was quiet. I had to use a lot of pedal pressure to initially get this out. So I think this was stuck. So I'm thinking, um, yeah. And then now I freed it. So hopefully that does the trick. Um, yeah. So uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that again. See how easily. Um, after after the first time I pushed it, because um, I'm thinking I, I, this one was trying to push this out, you know. And then, and then the pressure kind of relieved, and it, it started pushing this one out. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking it, if I freed it, so it should be fine now. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it, so maybe that one was stuck for a little bit, and then I, I worked it free, and that should be good. So um, I kind of want to just get a new caliper, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. But uh, that's it would be more work, I guess. Um, I, plus, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, other than it looks like this one comes out a little more easily than that one, and that, that's why I'm thinking it, it's pressing out like cockeyed. So, so I'm gonna go work it in one more time, and then push it out. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pump the brake, and then have uh, this come out again. Um, f see which one comes out first, I guess, and then uh, then I will stick uh, the clamp on it, push the other one out. So it's kind of a pain in the ass having a. Uh, uh, a uh, dual piston caliper. Just imagine, like, if you had like the the four piston calipers, maybe even more of a pain in the ass to work on. All right, so uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that again. I'm not gonna video. Okay, I got the piston reset. Go stop on that pedal again. Maybe, like three times. So once again, the other one has come out. So uh, so once again, this one comes out. That one just kind of just hangs out in there. I think in that one, there's something wrong with that one. And um, I may need to get a new caliper. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is put the, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go get the clamp and push this one back in and then see if I can get that one to come out. Okay. I give it a reset, and so I'm gonna go and uh, see if I'm gonna push the other one out. I bet you it's gonna be hard to press this down. Okay, there you go, it went out. So, I mean, I guess it's fine. It seems like the other one moves out more easily and that may be our problem. I'm not sure, dude. Um, if I look at the pads, it looks like they're worn pretty evenly. They look like yeah. they're worn evenly. I don't see anything wrong, so... Honestly, I have no idea what the problem is, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just install the new brakes and let's make sure I lube up, lube up those caliper guides real good. Um, honestly, I don't, I don't know what the problem is, so, uh, so, yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, when I put everything back on, uh, it, it'll be okay. Um, seems like everything moves properly. It seems like, um, that piston is a little harder to get out, you know, but, I mean, once, once that, once that piston, like, you know, it meets some resistance, it's, all the pressure is going to move to the other one anyway, so... I don't know. I I think the safe thing would be to uh, to uh, just get a new caliper. Um, that would be the that's that's the safe bet, you know. And it's a pretty old car. It's like uh, 
one, two, it's almost 30 years old, yeah, it's more than 20 years old, this car, so uh, those calipers are probably 20 years old-ish. Um, I know, then it would be a good idea to probably just do both of the brakes then, huh? Just change both of the calipers out. I don't know what to say, man. I've never had problems with these kind of brake calipers. They've always, you know, they've always done what they're supposed to do, you know? <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't know. I'll see how much a caliper costs. If it's, if I can get both of them pretty cheap, then maybe I'll just go with that. But it has to be, the, it has to be the right kind. It has to be like this. Uh, these are kind of more, these are for 3000 GTs. 3000 GTs have those. Um, yeah, so let me see if I can get some readily available. If not, that's okay. We can put it back on and we'll test it. And then uh, if it doesn't work, then we'll just have to get a different. Uh, actually, yeah, let's, let's just, let's go with that. Let's put all the parts on. And then we'll stick it back on there, and then we'll take it for a test drive, and if it's still dragging, then, uh, it's still dragging with our new brakes. I know I don't want to do it with the new brakes. <laughs> I know, hmm. I think, uh...